And this is a message for Kim Kardashian, who recently opined on the true nature of the moon landing. And even Kim Kardashian has chimed in. Hey Kim, I get it. The TikTok videos you've seen make the moon landing look like it's CGI from the Kardashians, space edition. But NASA didn't fake it. Let's cross-examine these with your legalistic skills put to their full test. You said there's no gravity on the moon. Actually, that's wrong. There's about one-sixth of Earth's gravity on the moon. That's why astronauts you see are hopping in slow arcs instead of floating in orbit, just like a lost Balenciaga bag. Now the flag looks windy, but there's no air on the moon. You're right. NASA obviously knew that. They're not dummies. They use a system of rods and wires to keep the flag extended. Where are the stars, you wonder? No stars? Well, the same reason it's hard to see you when you're filming outside at high noon in Beverly Hills. It's hard to see stars in Hollywood during the daytime, too. Easier to see them at night when the flashbulbs pop. The moon's surface was sunlit. There was a huge amount of dynamic range required to see stars and the astronauts. It was set for daytime. Now you say the boot prints don't match. Those museum boots aren't the boots themselves. They're the inner liners. The astronauts wore silicon overshoes left behind to save weight. Those made the famous pairs. Mismatch? Nope. That's what authenticity looks like. Hey Kim, I'm a professor of astrophysics at UC San Diego. Who filmed the liftoff if everyone left? Well, NASA had remote control TV cameras put on the moon in Houston's hand. No astronaut was left behind. How did Richard Nixon call them and speak to them on the moon when he was using a landline? That wasn't a cell phone miracle. It was a radio relay from the moon to the Earth, to stations on the Earth, relaying it securely to the Oval Office. There was a 1.3 second delay because of the 384,000 mile distance between the astronauts and Washington. Now, you claim that radiation belts are dangerous. That's true, if you linger there for hours. A polished trajectory skipped the worst zones and zipped through it in under 90 minutes. Dose, 0.2 rads, less than a CT scan. Their badges that the astronauts worn prove it. If not, all the radiologists at NASA would have been fired or put in jail. The lunar tinfoil module, that was heat chilling, not decoration. And as a champion of women all around the world, you'll be pleased to know that Jessica Meyer might just be the very first woman to land on the moon's surface. Stay tuned for more real space facts. And Kim, if you do want to come on the Into the Impossible podcast, I've got a bunch of moon rocks just for you. They're far cooler than the rocks you're usually all blinged out on on Keeping Up with the Kardashians. Hit me up, Kim.